Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris and today I'm going to show you just why I choose that SK Wayne socket when we are using this three quarter to half inch adapter on the torque meter when it comes to ratchet torture testing. Now even though that that's denoted as a three quarters inch socket, we know that the conversion to metric tells us that the 19 millimeter is going to be ever so slightly tighter in tolerance than the three quarters. So we're going to take a look at all of these different socket brands here. So we got Icon, Snap-on, Stanley, Tecton, Mac, GearWrench, Craftsman, Blackhawk, Cobalt, Carlisle. And then we also have that Husky as well as the socket that my dad chose, which is that SK Wayne, as well as the socket I'm using today. Let's find out if that's still the best socket for that fastener type right there, and if it's got the tightest tolerances out of all these other brands here. Stick around and we're gonna find out. So if you check out the chart right up here, you are going to see that the 19 millimeter for class one manufacturing should come in at 19.06 up to 19.36 and class two manufacturers go up to 19.46. That being said, we should shoot for roughly something around 19.20 or below so we can get the tightest fit on that fastener. So we are all zeroed out. We're gonna double check that and we should be good to go. So we're gonna start off with the Husky socket here and this should come in at one of the largest measurements and we're gonna see if that holds true. That first one is 19.33, 19.32, as well as 19.31. So we're gonna see if we can beat that one. We're gonna just randomly pick another socket here from the pile and we're gonna hopefully set the bar high. Here we have a brand new, never been used 19 millimeter snap-on socket. Now this, I've been told, is supposed to be the standard of all sockets, ratchets, tools, you name it. And we're gonna see if that is just the case when it comes to measuring this up here. So our first measurement is coming in at 19.21 and our next measurement is going to be coming in at 19.21 and our third and final measurement is going to be coming in at roughly 19.22. So pretty decent showing there by the snap-on socket. So we're gonna follow that up by the icon from Harbor Freight. Now this is supposed to compete directly with the tool truck brands. So hopefully we have a nice showing from this one as well. So our first measurement is coming in at 19.21. And our next measurement is coming in at 19.21 as well. And our third and final measurement is coming in at 19.20. So very nicely done by the icon socket there. Now this is one of my older goodies, or at least I thought it was. This is a Stanley USA made socket. And we are going to measure this one up. I've had this one for many, many years. They typically don't make these in the USA anymore. And it's coming in at a 19.29, which, you know, honestly surprised me. I mean, it might have better metals in it, 19.34. And our third and final measurement is going to be coming in at 19.31. So while I thought that this was always a decent socket, and it still is, I mean, it still comes in at that class one manufacturing, but it just measures a lot wider for the fitment than I would have liked. So here we have a Tecton. It's coming in at, let's get this straight here, 19.29. And our next measurement is 19.2829. 
and our third measurement is coming in at 19.29 so really consistent at 19.29 but it's just not going to be able to overtake what the icon and snap-on produced so here we have the x6 mac socket so this is a mac tools we're going to make sure we are zeroed out which we should be good to go and the first measurement on this one is coming in at 19.26 and then we have a 19.26 so again really nice and consistent we like it when all three measurements are the same and that one was off just a little bit there 19.27 so we are zeroed out and we are going to measure up the gear wrench socket see what that comes in at now this one I have never measured up before, so we're going to see a 19.25, 19.25, that's really nice and consistent, and 19.25 as well. So got to give it consistency on some of these manufacturers here. Uh, but the tolerances on that Stanley USA one, that was kind of disappointing as well as that husky socket there but that's a class 2 manufacturer so they're all within specs everything that we've measured so far is within specs so we are zeroed out there again and next up is the craftsman usa made socket now this one's pretty much a lot older you can't get this anymore and it is coming in at 19.29 next measurement is 19.3 and the third and final measurement is coming in at 19.3. So again, pretty consistent on there, a little bit larger than we would like to see. So now we have the Blackhawk socket. Now this one, again, this is another one that I've never measured up before. This is purely for a lot of those people out there that wanted to see just what some of their sockets measured up. 19.2829. And our third and final measurement coming in at 19.29. So we'll measure that first one again. I'm sure it came in at 19.29, and it does. Now here we have the cobalt socket. Now this is from Lowe's, and it's really interesting what Lowe's has done with their sockets over time and the brands that they changed them out to. The first measurement's coming in at 19.25. It's actually pretty decent for this socket. 1925, really nice and consistent. 1925. So, not a bad consistent socket there for the price point that that comes in at. We are zeroed out and we are going to measure up the last socket before we check out that SK Wayne socket. This is a 19 millimeter mid length socket from Napa Auto Parts. And our first measurement is coming in at 19.31. Rotate it here and see a 19.35. And our third and final measurement is 19.33. So a little high on that one as well, but all again within class one manufacturing. So we again are zeroed out. We've had some of our best measurements come in from our first couple brands. And now we are going to finally check out this SK Wayne that we continue to use and abuse on the ratchet torture test. Now this guy is going to be coming in at a 1920. nineteen one nine it's the first one that broke the two zero and nineteen one nine so honestly out of all the sockets that's why I continue to use that one there because it has the tightest fit when it comes to fitting on that fastener out of all the sockets here believe it or not so here we got that snap-on socket. And as you can see, while well, it does fit in there, and there is a light, slight wiggle, that SK Wayne is the tightest of them all. 
So we are zeroed out, and before we wrap this video up, we are gonna do the width on the sockets for each one of these. Now the snap-on socket is going to have the smallest width at 25.1. The icon socket is 25.71. The Stanley USA is 25.57. The Tecton is on the rather large side at 25.81. The Mac socket, is actually pretty large too at 25.81. The gear wrench is rather slim in comparison to the others that we just measured at 25.57. That older Craftsman USA is coming in at 25.52. The Cobalt actually, you know, it seems really thick and chunky, but actually comes in at 25.59. The Blackhawk, this one was actually chunkier than I thought at 25.76 and the Carlisle was 25.79, and the Husky is the largest at 25.90. Talk about having a little extra. And the SK Wayne is 25.39, so not too bad on that measurement. We looked at a lot of different manufacturers here today and they all had slightly different tolerances when it came to how they fit in the fasteners. They also came in at many different price points with some of these sockets being almost $20 for a single socket as well as some of these being able to purchase a whole entire set for under $30. So just make sure you're always choosing the right tool for the right job. I will continue to use this SK Wayne socket. So if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button because you won't want to miss out on when we use a socket again in the part two of the strongest 3 8 inch drive ratchets as we already have six of the eight ratchets selected. So that's going to be coming up soon. You guys won't want to miss that. Make sure you're always choosing the right tool for the right job at the right price point so that you can spend the most amount of time with your family and friends. And as always, guys, work smarter, not harder and I'll catch you in the next video.